Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how I created my love layout featuring the Scrapbooking with Me Boutique April kit that features the On Trend 2 by My Mind's Eye. Thanks for watching. So as you can see here, I'm cutting off the strip from the paper because uh, I didn't want that to show on my page and I'm using this page paper as the background of my layout. I didn't know at first what I was going to do with it so that's why I decided that it was definitely something I needed to uh, get out of my comfort zone and try to use. The next paper which is the flower paper is cut to eight and a half by seven and three quarters the green and white stripes is cut to eight by three and three quarters and this light green which is on the other side the green and gold polka dots is cut to nine and a quarter by nine and three quarters and as you can see I'm trying to figure out what my placement's going to be and it'll change about a hundred more times as I go along with this uh, page. Off to the side there you can see me cutting a strip of paper which is the green and white horizontal stripes to a little bit of six and three quarters and about a one and a quarter inch. Actually I cut it a lot longer and then ended up cutting it a little shorter which my end result is the six and three quarters by one and a quarter and you'll see me do that later on in this video. Also included in the kit was a die cuts with a view stencil which I will be using on that green strip of paper and I'm also using the Nouveau mousse, embellishment mousse in the mousse Indian gold. Sorry about my head in the way. I will be taping it down so that it doesn't move. And there is the Nouveau embellishment mousse. I really liked the texture of the mousse. It's a, almost like waxy and it dries very smooth. I was really impressed. It was the first time I was using it as you saw. I was opened it for the first time. I want to say it almost felt like a um, Faber-Castell uh, gelato but a little creamier. At this point I'm making the decision that I need to move my stencil over to get the rest of the paper covered with that um, gold stencil or rather that I don't know what to call it arrow style as you can see I'm showing it to you I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit maybe not this is where I decide that I need to cut it. But of course I can't find my scissors. Ah, oh, there we go. And I do try to cut it in a fishtail um, or pendant edge. This is where I probably decide that I need to cut it a little shorter. Yep, there you go. And again, that size of that strip of paper is six and three quarters by one and a quarter. Right about here I picked the pictures and this is a picture of my husband and I in New York City. Um, we went to see the Freedom Tower, the World Trade 
new World Trade Center building. Um, we also took a ride up to the top of it. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do my 40th birthday picture or this picture or this one of my daughter. And I'm just kind of trying to decide what picture I like best on this paper. And eventually I realized that that's the one I want to use. Kind of works with my husband's green jet t-shirt. T-shirt. Here's another picture of me many years ago. I don't normally make layouts of myself, but I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone. So didn't work out because I still ended up with this picture. I felt that the white really stood out. And at this point, I once again, I'm trying to figure out where I want to place everything. I use the Distress Ink by Tim Holtz, Black Soot, and I'm going to just distress all the edges of my cut papers. I'm using my ATG gun to tape down my paper onto the base of my page, which is the green, orange, and light teal colored paper. And then the next page is the green, or the teal and gold, gold rather. And then this pretty flowered paper, which really was probably one of my favorite florals. I love the little hearts, the colors, the everything about it. I decided to use the stencil again on this, um, the green and white stripes. And this time I actually used my brain and actually pulled out my um, my craft mat so that I don't get it get the paste all over my layout. I'm taping it down with some blue tape and again using my nouveau mousse. And you really don't need a lot; a little bit goes a long way. Um, it actually works great. I was very impressed with how well it worked on the template and how easy it washed off. I think I just used a baby wipe and it came right off. And if you just go back and you see that it didn't take in certain areas, you can always just go back and pat it in and it works perfectly. So now I'm just moving down my 
my stencil. And this time I'm actually not taping it down, which surprised me because I thought I had taped it down, but I kind of lined it up with the, the, the last one that was on the page and um, just moved it down a little bit so that I can continue uh, with the pattern. As you can see, I'm just fixing one that didn't, I think when I pulled it up, um, I pulled up some of the mousse, so I just kind of tapped it back in and, and made it smooth again. The Gold Nouveau Mousse has a beautiful shimmer to it. I mean, it's very metallic. Um, it's almost like if I would have foiled it. And as you can see, I'm just using a baby wipe to get the majority of the uh, mousse off my area and then again off my um, stencil. And you can see me putting, putting it between two baby wipes and just wiping away. You always want to make sure you take these um, texture paste off because it will ruin your stencils. Um, and I really like this stencil. It's probably one of my favorite stencils that I've received in a, in a kit ever. So we'll set that aside and let it dry. And we'll go back to the layout. And at this point, that strip is completely dry. taking some of the pink cardstock that came in the kit and you don't see me do it while on the uh, camera but I'm using a butterfly die and I don't remember if that one came in the kit or if it came in the kit before um, but I had that butterfly die and I decided to cut actually no this one came in the kit um, I decided to cut four of them out so that I can double them up and kind of give them that 3D effect by just gluing the center of them together and folding up the um, the top ones uh, wings and you'll see me do that shortly. So as you can see I am taking the butterfly and I'm folding the wings up with my fingers and I am cutting a couple more of them out and now I'm going to grab my Brutus Monroe glue to glue down my 3D butterflies and I realized that I hadn't opened it yet so you'll see me trying to squeeze glue out oh it worked because I realized it I did take that part out of the video. So you just add a little bit of glue right to the center, fold them up, and as you can see I'm just gluing the very middle of it, the little body, adhering them together, folding my wings up, and it makes for a nice 3D butterfly. I still haven't decided where my placement's going to be, so I'm still playing around with it. I'm checking to see if my gold is dry, and it is. So now it's a matter of figuring out where I want to place everything and where everything needs to go. I'm also using the Petaloo flowers that came in the kit, and they're like a 
nice light orange color. Um, they're like a canvas flower, as you can see. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to use it in. I decide not to go with the Petaloo and just use the um, Wild Orchid Crafts. So right about here I decide to pull out some of the teal colored flowers from my stash. They're Wild Orchid Crafts, also purchased in the boutique. Um, I also pull out one of the packages that came in the kit, which is a multicolored Wild Orchid Craft package. and Actually, it did not come in the kit. I purchased that from the boutique as well. Um, and I just kind of play around with the flowers. I'm not feeling the teal, as you can see, I put them aside. But I am liking how the pink looks. It's kind of like a, a pinkish, purplish color, which works way perfect with the cardstock. So I'm deciding where I'm going to place my gold. And I place it down I'm adding some scotch I believe foam tape. I believe it's scotch. No, I think it's oh, it is scotch. 3M tape to the back of the picture to give it a little dimension and I'm deciding on placement for this um, strip of the green paper and again I'm also using the 3M just on the bottom so that it lays flush and um, with the picture the bottom section and then the rest of it I'm actually just gluing down with um, with my tape runner. I like taking my Wild Orchid Craft Flowers and rolling the wire to make little um, spirals. And actually I'm using a paintbrush here to make it a little smaller and I just kind of roll it up and then just slide the brush out. Sorry I'm a little off camera there, but you get the idea. And just wrap the wire around the, the uh, thinnest paintbrush or pencil or skewer or anything that you can find and then you just pull on it. After you take it out you pull on it a little to make it a little longer. I'm trying to figure out my flower cluster and tried that petaloo again but wasn't happy with it. Too much orange. And here's where I decided to use the Love um, Cut Apart with the Gold Foiled Heart, and which that's going to be used as my title for the page. And I'm just cutting away with my scissor and just slightly cutting it down a little bit. And I'm going to tuck it in the bottom and as you can see I had to cut a corner off just to kind of so it would slide under the foam or under the picture rather. Making sure that everything is adhered. And I'm going to glue down my love card. hot glue gun to glue down my Wild Orchid craft flowers. At this point I'm going through my stash looking for 
other things to put into it and I found these green uh, crystal leaves and they're really pretty they they're kind of um, ombre from darker to lightest and I'm just trying to see how I'm going to place them to kind of give it a little bit more uh, texture and dimension And I'm very much of the glue down and commit type of crafter. I don't really give it too much thought. I place it down. If I like it, I just glue it down. And that's where it, where it goes because there's no wrong way of crafting. These glue down fairly easy. Um, I'm going to cut the long wire off because it was a little too long. And I'm just going to tuck it under my orange flowers. And you can actually bend the little leaves um, to make them a little more 3D and pop off the page. I liked the little leaves because they kind of remind me of the leaves that are on that floral page in the background. They kind of have the same type of shape. And I'm just using a, the edge of the end of my paint brush to hold down the wire. So now we're going back to the butterflies and I'm just looking for spots to put them in. And I think I like that right there between the, the picture and the love card. So as you can see, I'm just playing around with the butterflies and figuring out where I want to put them. And so now I'm gluing down my butterflies with my hot glue. And I'm adding the pink flowers to my cluster. Now I'm going to glue down my flowers. I'm gluing down the second pick, the second flower onto my layout. just taking the glue strings off which if you use your hot um, your heating tool it usually at this point I looked in my stash for some orange gems so I can attach to my the body of my butterfly and I just dropped a couple of them also around my cluster um, Right about here I'm picking up the gems off the page so I can get ready to adhere them. So looking for smaller ones. Actually those were sequins. At first I thought I was going to use sequins on the page and then I decided to go with gems. There are the gems, and I'm just going to stick them down. The sequins were a little too big, so the gems work out perfectly. So as you can see, I'm gluing down my adhesive back gems. 
Now I'm just adding a couple of random. No, I'm still now I'm doing the third, the second butterfly, the one up top, and I am just adding four of the bow bunny orange bling. I'm trying to make sure they're straight by using my palette knife. I just realized that there was some adhesive on the picture. So, of course, that's what sleeves are for. And now I believe I'll be adding a couple of random bling around my flower cluster to just kind of tie in the, the orange bling. I hope you enjoyed my layout. I really loved making it. Um, it was definitely something that came out of the whim. Um, I was out of my comfort zone with that background paper, but love how it turned out. Just hang on for a second and you'll see some close-ups of the layout.